everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to silver leaf the edge of this wood piece that I created. Um, I'm not hugely fond of this piece, but I think with the silver edge, it's really gonna sharpen it up and that's kind of like where I'm super in my zone. I love it. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a couple pieces that I made. This one has the rose gold leafing and then it's sealed with resin on top of it. And then this one has the gold leafing and it's sealed with resin on top of it. And honestly, like, I can't, it's so hard to explain the beauty of these pieces on a video. Like, oh, look at that. It's got a little bit of glitter in there. It's so pretty. And these are color shifting paints too. So um, they look really cool. And um, then I did this one yesterday and I put this on Instagram. I have not sealed this with resin yet. I'll definitely show you guys how to clean it and seal it. Um, so this is just kind of showing you guys what I'm working on. And then I just did this one this morning. I didn't want to do a tutorial on this one though because I actually have never done um, silver leafing on so many curved edges, but it did turn out beautiful. Look at that. So I'll just do one more layer of resin on top of this. Look at that beauty. Oh, I love it. So silver leafing, gold leafing, rose gold leafing, just, oh my gosh, adds so much amazingness to it, in my opinion. Um, really can sharpen up a piece. And so basically what I'm going to show you guys is how I do my edging. I do allow some of it to come over onto the live wood, but I don't always cover the whole wood. On this one, I did cover the whole wood. But then if you notice right at the edge there, I kind of allowed it to fade up so that way people can still see that this is real wood. I think that when I'm showing them at my craft fairs, that's actually a really important thing for people to notice is that it's still real wood. Otherwise they just think it's another piece of art that you did on a circle or something. So I don't like to cover the whole edge. Um, the other big thing is I don't wait for my glue to dry before taking it off. Um, I will kind of show you a little bit and then I'll do a time lapse of the rest. And then I do seal it always because I notice that when I don't, I actually will grab some of the leafing when I'm resining because it's not sealed properly um, and it'll end up going somewhere else and then I can't get it out. Like it's just a big old pain. I actually think I, yeah, I happened here too. So you guys can see, I kind of picked some up and then it accidentally brought into my middle, which this piece still looks, you know, badass anyways. But um, there's another one right here. And that actually, I did not sand this down and re-resin just because um, I already did so many layers on top of this, but you could still feel where some of these gold leaf pieces came out um, where I did not intend. So sealing it is way more important than I had ever thought. But my tools are Mona Lisa adhesive size, which is the glue, and then the sealer, obviously, is the sealer. <laughs> and then I have a brush for each thing. Um, so this one, I accidentally touched the silver leafing on my whale, so I'll just kind of scrape that off. But this one I use for the size. And then this one I use to kind of poke around my silver leafing so I don't have to touch it with my fingers. Um, otherwise, it just kind of comes right back off since the glue's not fully dry. And then this one I use for my sealing. Um, they're all crappy brushes that I got for super cheap because it's likely that you're not going to be able to clean them and use them again. But I do actually leave them in water for a while. Um, and so I hope all those tips kind of help you. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. I love to be able to answer questions for you guys. Um, and then, like I said, I will go through a tutorial later on cleaning and sealing so that way all this silicone area and stuff does not come up into the resin. I found a really effective way for me. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys. Um, let's go ahead and get to it then. So with my brush, I'm gonna go ahead. You always wanna make sure that you shake it. I've already shaken mine. Um, I don't want to get a bunch of bubbles again and have to wait for them to go down. So I'm not going to reshape. See, all them bubbles. Bubble, bubble. Paper. <laughs> um, basically, what you just want to do is you want to get a little bit. And I'm just going to come along this edge here. And I'm just going to do it nice and rough. I do not want 
a straight edge. I am like the queen of roughness um, when it comes to my art. And then you're just gonna take a piece of that leafing and you're gonna stick it straight on there. Like I said, I do not wait for it to dry. That is not a huge important step for me because if I do, it's not gonna be as rough as I want it to be. Um, it's actually gonna end up being exactly where the size is and, and that's not what I want. So you just stick it right on top of there. That's it, and then you leave it for a little bit. And then you can come back with the other brush, the pokey brush. Um, a softer brush does work, but that's you know when everything's dry. So with me, I'm not too uh, fond of that. I don't really care. So I'm just gonna kind of poke it away and make this like super rough edge along this inside. And then get this part, just kind of taking all this extra and then leaving that roughness, okay? And then this edging over here, I'm gonna leave the whole time until the end and then I'll take that off because that I don't want to pull up onto this um, and sometimes it does. So, I'll show you guys. See how rough that edge is? Okay, and I do still have the taped bottom on this there you go all right so i'm gonna go ahead and speed you guys through the rest of this uh watch me some awesome eye zombie and i'll be back <laughs> Okay, so I am about halfway done, and now I actually want to put on some sealer because um, it's going to start coming up because I'm going to have to actually hold it to be able to turn the wood. Um, so that way you guys can be able to see. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I seal it now. Um, I'm going to take my pokey brush, and I'm going to go ahead and go along the edge and get the rest of this off, and then I'm going to seal. Okay, so I have all of that off. You guys can see how it turns out on the edge there. And then really all you have to do, well, I'm back to my mobile thing right now because my computer wasn't working, so I'm sorry, sorry about the shaking. Um, but all you have to do is go back to that sealer brush, make sure you grab your sealer, not your size. <laughs> And then um, I do shake this as well. This one is a lot thicker, so you are going to go through it a lot faster. It's kind of like spoiled milk, honestly. The other one is like milk, and this one's like spoiled milk because it's thick. Um, so you want to go ahead and just put a nice coat on the edge and the top. It does dry clear. And then um, once that dries clear, you can go ahead and finish the other half of this. Um, I wait till it's, you know, almost dry. So let me get through this sealer here. And it really, really does help. Also helps in case you have kids like me who want to go touching everything. Literally, as soon as I'm done with something, he's like, Mom, can I touch it? And sometimes, like, if I'm working with resin, no, <laughs> don't touch it. So, yeah, my kid is, can I touch, 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 touch? But I love him. He's awesome. He was kind of funny this morning. He woke up and uh, I told him, because he has super curly hair like me. And I said, Chase, you need to go do your hair because your hair is a disaster. And he's like, well, I don't want to do your, my hair. Okay, well, then you need to, if you don't do your hair, I'm going to cut it. And he's like, okay, can you cut it? 
So at six o'clock this morning or 6.30 this morning, we cut his hair all because he didn't want to um, actually do the effort it took to take care of it. So yep, we cut his hair. <laughs> Oh, love is curly hair, but I don't love the effort it requires and the fight that it requires every single day. So I would much rather cut his hair. And he's super cute either way. Love my kid. So, all right, sealer's on. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to time lapse the rest of this. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. If you guys have any requests, please leave them in the comments below. Um, because I would love to do any requests that you guys have. I love to help out as much as I can. I am fairly new at like all of this, <laughs> but if you guys have questions, I'll do my best to figure it out and to teach you what I have learned. All right. See you next time.